it's uh, based on emergency and this cell phone. Uh, but still, if you can uh, tell us something about the film, what the film is about. Uh, what the film is all about is a very difficult uh, question to answer, but uh, I shall try to make it as short as possible. Uh, it's set in the period of emergency, and as you all know, emergency was uh, declared in 1975 for about two years or so. And uh, during that period, uh, there's a thriller which which we have evolved in this in this film, which is about some kind of technology which is being brought into uh, the country, and uh, the whole uh, mystery and the trail behind it is what Santa Chitra is all about. Uh, we have seen you on screen uh, playing a role of a uh, bad guy in a, a good way, uh, and also uh, playing a cop a number of times, playing a, a role of a cop or a police officer. So uh, what character you are playing in this uh, uh, film? You are playing as an, a, bad, a bad guy or a playing a role as a hero? Yeah, uh, Acting is uh, uh, yeah, uh, I'm playing a human being who's supposed to have certain qualities. Okay, now um, I don't play for the sake of playing bad, for the sake of playing good, etc., etc. I'm just uh, I just play human beings. So human beings have various qualities, and it depends on what quality that that human being is portraying in the film. Um, the Govind in this film is, is a kind of a revolutionary, he's kind of a rebel and he comes out of his closet the moment emergency is put on and he feels that he needs to do it his own way, which it might not be a very pleasant way. He might bash a few heads and kill a few people. So, uh, yeah, so uh, that's how his method, method goes and he decides to take it upon himself to, uh, to see where this technology goes and, and how to stop or uh, usurp that. For the system. Okay, uh, how was your uh, journey of Sant Pachatar? Was it challenging or easy for you? I have nothing but challenging. I don't believe in challenging. Uh, I think challenging is, is for those who don't have the capacity to, or the facility, or the ability, or the caliber. For me, things are either interesting or not interesting. I don't have anything that's challenging. So um, uh, I look at everything that comes to me in, in acting uh, as either either interesting or uninteresting. So for me, this was a very interesting role to play and I thought um, it had a, a, a sense which uh, that you spend 40 days shooting and you uh, enjoy the whole process. That's something which happened to me. Welcome to Prachar. It was time such a brilliant actor and a wonderful person like you was on social media. Thank so you. you've done a versatile role. And in every role you do, you do it very perfectly. Do you believe in perfection? Or uh, I don't think there's anything called perfection. Because if you are perfect, then you need not be a human being anymore. <laughs> you can quit and go. Because we are, uh, we are try the whole journey is to, to, to try to be perfect. And that journey is never ending. And that's what one tries to do. So one tries to do... Uh, so I don't try and achieve perfection as such, I, but I try and achieve what is required in terms of exponentially enjoying the viewing process of an audience. So if uh, you expect 2 plus 2 is 4, I would rather that 2 plus 2 is 10. So I try and do that as far as possible in terms of uh, exponentially increasing the, uh, the value of the audience watching it. Uh, their, their their interest, their you know the whole excitement and the thrill that they have. That's been my aim as an actor. So I try and uh, increase their pleasure in that sense. Yeah. So as an actor, you also decide the look you should you should be No, that's a collaborative effort. Uh, filmmaking is a collaborative effort. There's no one person who does everything. So there are many issues like, for example, 1975. So you you take references and your your. Entire team helps you in that, you know, the director, the scriptwriter, the costume designer, everybody helps you out. So they, you know, sort of give you a, a look and all that stuff, and you and you and you just follow it. Yeah. Uh, also, the, uh, on screen, uh, I've seen you like uh, I'm one of your fans. Uh, I've seen you play, uh, play the uh, uh, every, each and every character very politely, very cool and calm, not like that. Uh, other other actor uh, uh, creating a melodrama or creating a, some uh, mm. mysterious action. Well, you play all the all the characters very coolly and calmly. How, uh, from, uh, from where you develop such uh, acting skills? No, I, I try to be convincing. That's my only thing. I want to make things believable. I don't like realistic cinema as such. I find realism very boring. 
but I think I, I, I have a thing for believable cinema. So you can make science fiction of all, all you care, but just make it believable for me. You know, don't make it something that's come out of some other planet. Uh, that's my only issue. So what, even when I act, I try and make it as believable as possible. You know, even if I'm playing the mainstream kind of thing, I try and make it as believable as possible so that it doesn't seem that this guy has come from Mars, Mars or some Pluto or somewhere. So in his, in his, the way he does it. So uh, it's a different thing that uh, our most of our mainstream cinema doesn't s happen on Earth. You know, mainstream cinema is always anti-gravity. So everything flies up. I don't know why they fly up. I mean, when you hit a man, you should fall down as per Earth's gravity. But anyway, this all seems to fly up. So, so that cinema is any which way uh, from some other planet. It's not from. But we, uh, as actors, we try and make it as believable. So, what you're talking about, being soft or being, uh, is has no consequence. I have shouted also. I have been aggressive also in Sarkar, and I've been aggressive in Shaurya, and I've been cool and calm also. It depends on what that scene wants you to do. I mean, that scene will prompt you to to do it, uh, create the drama in a particular way. That's the only thing. Small part, uh, not a small part, but you've done a comedy film, Sangeet Singh. It was hard for comedy, but mm. uh, what do you think of a part for comedy? Have you I've done Honeymoon Travels. Okay, but that this is proper, proper, proper. proper. I've danced also in it. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so yeah, so I think uh, uh, I've done Sankat City also. But it's just that, uh, yeah, you tell me, uh, ask me a question. Yeah, I was just asking, are you. Prefer to do more comedy films, or you uh, haven't been approached for many com as such many comedy films. Yeah, that might be true. I have not been approached for many comedy movies, but I have no issues doing either. And some people say comedy is difficult and serious. Is the, I don't believe in all that. I think all acting is either is either pleasurable or not. I mean, it's interesting or not. So it's just that I would rather do comedy which is humor and not trying to be funny, uh, which is, I think, uh, overacting and uh, all the faking things. But otherwise, I'm okay with any any kind of uh, genre, any kind of anything, I mean, for that matter. Uh, so, uh, being a versatile, a versatile actor, does a uh, uh, movie uh, heat of love uh, affect you in any way? No, it doesn't really affect me, because I am not into that equation uh, of uh, banking my entire personality and my entire life on something that see I'm a very dispassionately passionate actor I uh, the moment I finish the film I'm very dispassionate about it till then I'm very passionate so in that sense I'm very dispassionately passionate about my, my work so last day of whatever that work is over till then I'm like so passionate that I'll te tear your hair off <laughs> but uh, I, after once that thing is over then I don't, don't attach myself to it at all. So I'm completely dispassionate about it. Otherwise, I'd go insane. Uh, do, you, uh, do you believe in critical acclaim? I believe in, I believe in, in almighty, yeah. I don't believe in anything else. I really don't believe, I don't really don't believe uh, that human beings can do anything to me in terms of uh, bring me down or exalting me up. So for me, all this stuff about critical acclaim or no acclaim or, or some, some award or something, doesn't really matter because that is not the yardstick at all. Because you can sense that they are appreciated or not by just looking into your eye, your people's. For me that is enough, I know, I, okay fine, there's a certain large number of section which appreciates my work, that's enough. Now to get into that whole rut of, of how to get an award and how to you know manipulate that and all that, I'm not interested, I'm really bored of that stuff, I can't my, do that stuff. Uh, yeah. Also sir, uh, sorry to, uh, uh, Recently, Uttar Punjab has been leaked on website, yeah, and also it was an unknown question much awaited film. So, what's your take on that? First and foremost, piracy is uh, is to be condemned. So, I don't think piracy is the right thing to do ever in life. The point is that when when you know that, I mean, seldom people know that filmmakers, actors, the entire crew and cast they really work their backsides off for for uh, for making a film. And then to leak it on on, on, on website and things like that is, is, is I think, uh, a big crime. So first and foremost, it should be punished. If at all, you can catch that person who's done it, or that person or group of people who've done it. 
and secondly i don't i, I think it's it's a very cruel thing to do uh, to any filmmaker uh, you should never leak such stuff out because uh, you are you're demolishing, demolishing somebody's work unethically you know uh, which is wrong and uh, it's a crime according to me lastly uh, what do you think you Santosh has a target audience i aim to target at all audiences <laughs> Yeah, so uh, all audiences. I actually don't. I don't know. Actually, I I never look at my film as a product first and foremost. I look at it as a piece of work which can be viewed by everybody. And I find that somebody else, somebody can find something in it. Uh, if I was selling a soap, for example, I would know demographics and psychographics and and all that, you know, all the profiles. But for a piece of work like cinema. the moment you i start thinking in that way then i everything starts working backwards so your acting becomes like that your 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 film making becomes like that to cater to that audience and i think that should be the the last thing that should be there on any filmmaker or actor's mind oh abhi mehna i'm going to cater to the urban 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 class You're done for in life otherwise then you then you're actually the mind is going to go and <coughs> make soaps you know make fabric or something like that which is understood chalo this fabric can be used only by so for films i never think about all that though i have been given a lot of spiel by most of uh, the research agencies you know what demographics that for this film and this test group or whatever they call it has given you i take it with a pinch of salt i think that anybody who is questioned will try and answer wisely like person who is actually now for example cleaning the dishes here and you ask him in private kya laga tum ko he will give you a lot of speed about something here the moment you put a mic on him he suddenly become very wise about his statements he become so conscious about the fact that he is being asked so i think all these test groups are the same syndrome you know the moment they know they are in a room to be questioned about it they'll start coming out with some stuff which they don't even think will ever occur so under these conditions i don't think you can get a frank answer so for me you go by your own instinct your own own intuition your own sincerity about what you're doing go ahead do it to the best of your ability and see how it's digested by the audience and that's it so uh, any any compliment we have received uh, from a uh, body fraternity regarding a trailer or a movie trailer has received a lot of stuff no uh, i don't i actually yeah, i have a very good bad habit and that is to not read reviews i don't read I've got bored of it long time back. Twenty years, there, both of it. I can't keep on reading my own stuff. So uh, yeah, so I've been told by Lavi and everybody, even these people from Twitter, happy. They have told me that a uh, lot of uh, people have liked the trailer, which makes me happy because that is also a good creative, less monetary spending way of of because we don't have a deep pocket. You see, we don't have. We can't spend. Like a happy new year or somebody can spend. We don't. We can't have nothing like that. We can only do a very good film, and hope that audiences have the senses to watch it. And that's it. Thank you. What's up? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Hello. Hi. Where are you? come let's go no worries no worries okay uh, so ma'am first of all congratulations for your film thank you so uh, as we have heard uh, matlab uh, the film is all about uh, uh, sam patel sir is all about uh, some uh, mobile phone uh, and uh, the war the emergency but still uh, can you describe what the film is about the film is about um, so the film is based uh, during the time of emergency which is 1975 um, and uh, it's a story uh, it's a one week story After the emergency was declared, uh, it's my uh, backdrop. So the backdrop is emergency, and one, uh, the uh, basic layer is that it is the emergency time when all your rights have been taken away from you. And at that time, at that time, there is such a thing in the country that can destroy your whole system for the good or for the bad. 
तो ये एक बेसिक प्रमाइस है इसमें हमारे तीन किरदार हैं मेन जो है मेन ट्रैक्स जो हमारे चल रहे हैं वो के के है मेरा है और प्रवेश का है और कैसे ये तीनों एक ही तीनों की मंजिल एक ही है लेकिन उनकी जर्नीज अलग अलग हैं उनके वो किस वजह से वहाँ पहुँचना चाहते हैं वो रीजन अलग अलग हैं लेकिन तीनों उसी तरफ बढ़ रहे हैं और क्या होता है उस जर्नी के दौरान उस उस वो उस पॉइंट पे पहुंचने के बाद क्या होता है उनके साथ सो द फिल्म इज बेसिकली दैट एज के के सर एज स्टोरी सर यू पोर्ट्रे अ पर्सन ऑन अ स्क्रीन सो व्हाट यू पोर्ट्रे यू पोर्ट्रे अ रोल योर योर सेल्फ और अ पर्सन वी ऑलवेज पोर्ट्रे पर्सन वी ऑलवेज प्ले पोर्ट्रे डिफरेंट कैरेक्टर्स मैं 2015 में हूं तो मैं कीर्ति तो नहीं हो सकती 1975 में सो आई एम प्लेइंग अ गर्ल कॉल्ड मीना शी इज अ मिडिल क्लास हाउसवाइफ जो लखनऊ जैसे शहर में है वो शी इज़ रनिंग अवे फ्राम अ पास शी इज़ नॉट हैप्पी विद वॉट शी हैज़ एंड शी वॉन्ट्स टू गेट समवेयर सो फिल्म में वो सिर्फ उनका एक ही मकसद है कि मैं किसी ना किसी तरीके से इतने पैसे इकट्ठे कर लूँ कि मैं देश छोड़ के कहीं जा सकूँ दैट्स ऑल शी वॉन्ट्स टू डू सो दिस इज दैट्स द जर्नी ऑफ मीना दैट यू सी इन द फिल्म एंड बहुत ही सिंगल माइंडेड गोल है उनका और वो भी मतलब वो डेस्परेट हैं बस फ्रीडम uh, के लिए डेस्परेट हैं एक अपनी जिंदगी खुद की जीने के लिए कैरेक्टर ऑफ मीना इज लाइक ऑल ऑफ अस इट्स नेगेटिव विद पॉजिटिव अगर हम सबको ऐसी नौबत आ जाए जिंदगी में जहां हमारे लिए सर्वाइवल uh, सबसे ज़रूरी हो तो हम क्या क्या करेंगे उसके लिए she is she is about that she is very real she is very real for me because she is not this sati savitri she is not not a villain she is somebody who is very real who is just trying to find the life for herself okay, uh, like uh, film is on and budget sir so basically uh, the what plays a major role about the location okay uh, so uh, uh, where uh, can you uh, tell us about the film location uh, where the we have shot the whole film in lucknow kyunki ye kahani hi lucknow ki hai jo us waqt अवध के नाम से फेमस था सो द होल स्टोरी इज़ बेस्ड देन विद के के आई डेंट हैव एनी आई डेंट हैव अ सिंगल सीन विद के के अनफॉर्चुनेटली बट येस टू 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 डू अ फिल्म विद हिम टू बी इन द सेम फिल्म एज हिम इज इज एन एब्सोल्यूट प्लेजर और उनको काम करते हुए देख के भी यू लर्न अ लॉट सो आई होप आई डू समथिंग विद हिम इन द फ्यूचर वेरी सुन उसको लोग कैसे देखते हैं और देखना चाहते हैं और उससे उसके उससे क्या करना चाहते हैं दैट्स नॉट रियली इन माई हैंड्स unfair. it's very uh, wrong of people to do something like that because people have worked very hard uh, there's a lot of money there's a lot of uh, sweat and blood that people have uh, worked with you know for the film or usko and especially when urta punjab has had a very bad struggle you know in the last few weeks uske baad jab final finally cheeze aapke favor mein aati hain aur कुछ अच्छा होने वाला है एंड सम वन गोज अहेड इन दस समथिंग लाइक दिस इट्स इट्स टोटली अनएक्सेप्टेबल एंड आई होप पीपल हैव द ब्रेन्स एंड द हार्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड कि व्हाट यू आर डूइंग इज नॉट राइट इट्स 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 रियली हार्मिंग समबडी एल्स मैं यही कहना चाहूँगी कि uh, हर फिल्म में बहुत मेहनत होती है इसमें भी हुई है एक नया सब्जेक्ट है एमरजेंसी के टाइम पे बेस्ड है जो शायद हमने सिर्फ सुना है हमारे जनरेशन ने सिर्फ सुना है आ, हमारे माँ बाप ने एक्सपीरियंस किया है तो इट विल बी इंटरेस्टिंग टू गो बैक टू दोज टाइम्स इन सी व्हाट इट वाज लाइक 
और कुछ अच्छे कलाकार हैं फिल्म में अच्छे अच्छी फिल्म बनी है अच्छे से शूट हुई है सो इट माइट जस्ट बी अ डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंस फॉर यू अगर आपका ट्रेलर देख के आपको मन करता है मन तो कर रहा होगा बट प्लीज़ डू डू गो एंड वॉच द फिल्म इन द थिएटर्स ऑन द फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई टू एंड आई होप यू विल लाइक इट थैंक यू थैंक यू